welcome back to Little Babes Booktube channel. My name is Kate Len, and today I have this package next to me. Um, I am not no handyman, but today we are about to build one of my new bookshelves. I have purchased two of these bad boys, but I figured we could just we could just build one just to see how it goes. So right now I'm going to use the scissors to hopefully cut cut this. Okay, here we go. We have it. Whoa! Oh my goodness, you can't see my face, but it was it was maybe a little priceless there. We're gonna toss it on its side, and I don't know what I'm doing. So um. I'm just kind of looking for instructions and I'm sitting here looking at these instructions and I'm next up we are going to build the the bees <laughs> now that I found my top piece we are going to take the third piece and we are going to I don't know do something like like this literally my entire book collection behind me and it is like a little book city as you come down to the village and stroll through the towns of all the houses of the books so today we are going to be scanning in all my books into the Libib app because I'm curious I haven't done this in a long time so I don't know how many um books I have total so that will be fun to find out how many books I have total and then I have brand new bookshelves I just put together so we're gonna scan all the books into the Libib app you can follow me I'll leave a link in the description box down below and then we are going to go organize them on my actual bookshelves new ones I got so anywho <sighs> I also have a couple new books that I got recently in the mail the other day, so a sneak peek at a future book haul coming soon to a theater near you, probably in October for the spooktacular book hauls, but we got Boo Hoo by Ben Clanton, and this is my first children's board book. It feels weird to have purchased this because I do not have any children, nor plan on having children for a very, very long time if I ever do, so um, I've officially become a child. <laughs> And he'll let's get to it. Okay, we are back. We have officially scanned everything into the Libib app, and I also manually entered in all the other books that did not get scanned in, did not have their dust jackets, um, also that were ARCs, and my box of Harry Potter set that I refused to open <laughs> for some odd reason. Like, I refused to open that box set, but that is also staying put. So right now, I have a total give it a drum roll please let me know in the comment section down below what your guess was um and then in three 
two, one. I have over 238 books in my collection, which doesn't seem like a lot, but seemed like a lot more than what I was guesstimating. I was guesstimating anywhere from like 150, well, I know it was gonna be at least 100, and so I was thinking maybe 150, 200, but now that I'm over 200, I'm like, oh my goodness, like, the last time I checked, I felt like I only had like 100 books, and now I'm over double that size. Um, it's definitely because of all the graphic novels that I bought throughout these past several years because I go through graphic mo novels faster and poetry books faster and I don't go through like actual novels as fast and I feel like I am not disconnected from the YA genre like the books that are being published now but I just I really I it's, it's not my speed so I am super into like graphic novels children's books like narwhal and other things I can get through fast because I am in the midst of waiting for my doctor's appointment to get my eyeballs fixed again. So yeah, so it's super exciting. A lot more books than I have. So now the challenge is I have like confined myself in piles and stacks upon piles and stacks of books. And now I need to try to figure out how I'm going to get up and get out of this mess. Like it's, I'm just in a circumference of, I am just surrounded by books. So now I get to throw all these onto my bookshelves, which I'm so excited for. So we are going to do that next. How I'm gonna organize this, I have no idea because my main plan was gonna be, I have like my yearbooks and stuff right behind me and some other books like, high school writing books or a publication I made in high school which that's definitely not going on there. I don't know if I want to include the atlas which was one of the books that I was also published in. I feel like I want to keep my high school books and all my high school publications kind of in not my bedroom but I have my bookshelf in my bedroom so I may keep those in there. But like all the other books that I'm currently not reading nor have the desire to read, aka the Court of Mr. Fury and series, and then I have behind me um, all of the other Sarah J. Mass books, like um, Throne of Glass series. So I have all those behind me, and I don't think I want to put them on display. I know I want to put my favorite books on display, and I want to make like a Halloween slash spooky shelf. So that is going to be a thing, but. <sighs> It's just, these are all kind of in piles. And I wasn't thoroughly thinking when I was creating my piles. I was like, I'm just going to shove them all and then I'll like sort through them later. But now I'm like, I need to put them together. But right now it is currently midnight. It's 12.05. And this is the time that I typically go to bed at. Um, tomorrow's Monday morning. So rise and shine for the work week. So I think I may put a few books on my bookshelf right now. And then come back tomorrow to finish the deed. I feel like I've been doing this vlog literally for years. But here we are. Here are my books. This is a majority of them. There's still a majority in that other room that I was already located in. Not my living room. Not this corner of my living room. I'm going to have a few set up here. I kind of did this a little quick last night. I have my photo that I took that I printed off for Montana that I love and so I whip it out for my fall aesthetic. We got Twilight books also for fall aesthetic. Some graphic novels that I've not shown in a haul yet so don't look too closely there and then up there we have our poetry collection. However, when I was done cataloging my books last night, I came up here and looked at my shelves and I was like, shit, I should have bought a third bookshelf. Um, so I'm in the process of trying to decide if I need to buy a third bookshelf. I have two other bookshelves though. Um, I have my desk that has a bookshelf on top. I have my white bookshelf with three um, little tops. I kept that for sure. And then I also have my little tan one. I did keep that one as well. I did um, get rid of my big, tall, grayish looking one. So anyhow, I'm going to put these books onto the shelf or at least figure out kind of how I want to organize it now. Um, and then we will kind of do an overview of things, come back once we figure everything out, and then that will probably be the end of this video. It is so long and lengthy, and yeah, so.
they're complete as complete can get. I've decided that um, I took my toilet books that were over here. Um, I decided to take them off my bookshelf and I'm gonna preserve them in a tote with my other favorite books that, oops, lost my balance there. Um, all my other favorite books that will not be able to make these shelves. It's just, there is not enough space. I mean, there's enough space for the twilight, but I just, I wanna have like a shelf that looks like aesthetically pleasing for fall and that's what you're gonna get. So let's go over my entire bookshelves and kind of the organization process. This is just like round one. I'm sure this will change in the near distant future. I'm just exhausted from the past several days of moving and all that fun jazz and getting everything set up and good to go, unpacking. So this is the best it's gonna do. So let me show you. Bookshelf, bookshelf tour. So up here, oops, up here we have our cookbooks and these two random books, a journal and decorating with plants. Then we have some poetry books right here. The second shelf, this shelf right here, is one of my favorite shelves because this is just all spooky books. So we have some horror books, sci-fi kind of horror right here, um, and then just spooky books that I've heard spooky things about. So here's my Montana spread fall vibes shelf. This is a photo I took in Montana and I love and adore it. Never even edited it perfect. Also, we have Vengeance Road and Retribution Rails. I still never finished Retribution Rails, fun fact. Um, so that's a thing. Anyhow, I love these books and I think they're very great and perfect for fall. Next down here, we go to the Misfits shelf. These are the books that I couldn't figure out where else to put them besides this Misfits shelf. So we have some Adrian Young. Um, more just some hodgepodge random books. We have the, uh, uh, the Unbecoming a Mary Dyer trilogy, Passenger, blah, blah, blah. Last shelf, we have our Rick Riordan, our Randos, and some George R. R. Martin. Over here, we also have more Randos. We have all my comic books that I have, and then we also have all my tall books, which are right there, and the colors are a mess. Up here we have more tall books. We have the entire Ember in the Ashes series, Six of Crows, blah, blah, blah. Next up, we move to the graphic novel section of the bookshelf. Next up, we move to um, Oldie Booktube Classics. So these were all the dystopians that were super popular back in the day and that kind of feel relevant now. Um, so we have our Alexander Brecken, our Terra Mafi, um, taken by Aaron Bowman, which I still need to read. I've been meaning to read this book for centuries. Um, the Scythe, Hunger Games, uh, Shadow and Bone, I still have not read, and then Dry, because it's also a standalone, and that's where I decided to put that. Up at the top, we have all of our contemporaries. So we have some contemporaries here, love stuff, uh, rom-coms. I have this random book that's definitely not about love. It's about rape in the justice system in a college town in Missoula, Montana. And then some more adult books and about love, so. That's gonna be it. I'm glad y'all could come along for this huge, massive journey of cataloging all my books, moving them and whatnot, and building bookshelves, which do not hire me for uh, building bookshelves. But anywho, that is going to be it for this video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and maybe there'll be a bookshelf tour coming soon to a theater near you. <laughs> Anyways, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I will see you next Tuesday for, and I will see you next Thursday for a new bookshelf video.